What up, Dope Hunters? World Tournament number 45 is dropping on Global tonight. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how you can earn up to 50 Dragonstones this World Tournament weekend. That's something you definitely should be doing. And depending on how ambitious you are during this World Tournament weekend, we're going to talk about the EZAs that are going to be happening during this World Tournament event. Now, in general, this World Tournament EZA situation only started on the last one. So you still might be working on some of the older EZAs that arrived last time. But the good news is there is no new LR EZA to consider this time around. So this will alleviate some of the workload, allowing you to focus more on the TUR. So that being said, let's jump in. Let's start by talking about the 50 Dragonstones. How do you earn 50 Dragonstones from World Tournament? First of all, whether or not you care about the World Tournament grind itself, 50 Dragonstones is an absolute must, 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 because you've got the eight year anniversary coming up. Then we we continue hype block with the worldwide download. And recently, with the Tanabata celebration dropping on JP, the whole Dokkan world is talking about the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So it is always a good idea to farm as many stones as you possibly can whenever it is worth doing. And this is definitely one of those times. So let's go through all the Dragon Stones first. We'll start with the, I guess, the daily missions. Where is that? All right. So we'll start with the daily missions because every single day you have to win at least three times. The beauty of all of these missions that you need to obtain all 50 Dragon Stones. You don't have to do any of this at any sort of high pace. You can do this entire 50 stone dra uh, Dragonstone grind at your own pace, which makes this that much more worth doing. Daily missions, you have to win three times. In the process, winning once, twice, three times, you earn three stones in one day. There are three total days worth of missions during World Tournament Weekend. So that's three times three, that's nine Dragonstones. Nine plus advancing to the semifinals, that gives you 10. So that's one out of five right there. Then we'll move on to your consecutive wins. If you can win up to 20, what is it? I think if you win up to, yeah, seven World Tournament wins in a row, you will earn another three Dragon Stones. So our total is now at 13. Then we go to a cumulative score, uh, 14, 15, 16, 18, 21, 21, 24, 27, 30. 33 okay so 23 million is the max 33 dragon stones okay then we get to tier 33 34 35 40 45 and then the last one 46 47 48 and 50 so there you go those are all 50 dragon stones that you can earn from this eight wins that's what you need you're going to need a little bit more than that if you want to reach beers tier so you're going to have to go a little bit further but the good news is you can take your time over the span of three days the bare minimum is getting three wins. And then collectively over the three days, you have to earn about 23 million points. You have to get about eight consecutive wins. It's not that much. I would say on average, I would say in total, it would probably end up taking you maybe like two hours out of a three day block. So that's pretty good if it's worth getting 50 Dragon Stones, which it should be. So that should very easily incentivize you guys to do this. Now, let's talk about the World Tournament ranking. Now, normally, I have been saying in previous videos that rank 1,000 to 2,000 is, on average, what you want to be placing so you can obtain a full rainbow for whatever unit is going to be dropping during that World Tournament. But for this World Tournament that we're getting for 45, there is no new TUR or any sort of SSR that's dropping. Instead, they're just focusing on older units receiving EZAs. You might recall on the last World Tournament, we had not only an older SSR getting a TUR, but then also four EZAs and an LR EZA. So last World Tournament was extra crazy because they are super stingy on how many resources they will give you. Literally, if you are top 10 in the world, you were given enough medals to accommodate all four of these EZAs. Literally top 10. Only 10 players in the world actually were able to fully EZA four TURs and also EZA the LR Piccolo while also awakening the Goku team. That sucks. And that will continue to be the case, I think, for at least one more World Tournament because they have recently announced an update on the JP side where they will be allowing more ranks further down the list to obtain the same level of rewards. That way it doesn't alienate 99.999999% of the population for not ranking top 10, right? So that, that that's going to be a good update that happens a couple more World Tournaments from now. But until then, you're going to have to basically kind of just keep up as best that you can if you care and this is where looking at what the EZAs do is important if you take a look at these you see which units are good which units are not that will help you determine if it's worth EZAing that one for me I EZA'd these three characters on the last world tournament including the LR I couldn't get to this kid Goku and as a completionist that bothers me to no end but I will say that from the last set of EZAs this one was my favorite 
the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But now let's take a look at these three units and their EZAs, or four of them. So let's let's start with the Demon King Piccolo, his EZA, all types lead 70%. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, lowers defense. E plus two attack and defense plus 150. All enemies attack and defense minus 30%. Sworn enemies attack plus 40. Reduces damage received by 30% from enemies who have been hit by this character super attack within the same turn. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20 with each attack received up to 100. This is actually not a bad unit for a multitude of reasons. Number one, different Namekian. So in the long run, this will help. Um, also, this is a nice supporting boost for sworn enemies. And along with the massive nerfing agent that you get for something like Super Battle Road, you also can supplement that with a 30% damage reduction, temporary raising attack and defense, and also gaining stats. This guy can actually perform really well on things like Super Battle Road. So I think that he is worth picking up. But let's see how he compares to the others. So we've got Int Super Saiyan Goku. This guy has a multiplicative super, cause supreme damage, raise attack and defense for six turns. That is going to be by 50%. He is an 80% lead for these three types. Attack and defense plus 120, AGL tech and Int types key plus two attack and defense plus 30 he's more of a mono unit based on that passive medium chance to perform a critical hit and attack plus 51 performing a super attack when there's a tech type ally on the team medium chance of evading an attack plus 51 performing a super attack when there's an agl type ally on the team very interesting so if you've got a tech and an agl on your team which you probably will since mono types are pretty much dead you will get some nice abilities on this unit along with the multiplicative super so i do like this guy too but he's not I would say still that the Piccolo is more unique and probably more worth it. So then let's continue on here to the ultimate, not the ultimate, the Teen Gohan. So this guy with his EZA, key plus three, 90%. Cause supreme damage with a high chance to stun. Key plus three, attack and defense plus 158. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 51 facing two or more enemies. High chance of launching an additional super attack when facing three or more enemies. Plus an additional attack plus 10. Defense plus 20 up to 100 with each super attack performed. There's no stat boosting on this guy's super attack. I'm not the biggest fan of this unit. He's obviously built for Super Battle Road, but if you're on Super Battle Road, you probably got some better units anyway. Plus, Gohan Teen on Super Battle Road, you don't want to be running this guy. You would rather run his tech counterpart, the Dokkan Festival one, who has guaranteed guard stacks like crazy. This guy's probably going to be the worst one of the bunch. Wouldn't recommend him. And the last one is the Kaioken Goku. This guy's an AGL physical type tech, 80%. Fairly raises attack, causes supreme damage, and a medium chance to stun. So he stacks attack. That's good. E plus two attack and defense plus 159 changes SDR key spheres to rainbow plus an additional attack and defense plus 90 per rainbow key sphere obtained high chance of guarding all attacks with three or more key spheres obtained that are rainbow I don't like this passive because of the high chance to guard this guy's not exactly a must-have so if I were to rank these I would say Piccolo's number one uh Saiyan Armor Goku's number two um I would suppose probably this guy's third because at least he has an opportunity to guard and he can stack infinitely and he does match up well against like the old school legendary goku event i would say this guy is probably last because if you're gonna run this guy on super battle road chances are you probably already have better versions of this guy anyway so yeah i'd probably say this guy's the worst one so that being said it is important to try to figure out where your priorities lie because that ultimately will influence how far you want to go in this world tournament if you want to receive enough medals to awaken three units you need to rank at least 1000 to 2000 that way you will get 45 bronze 120 silver 90 gold and 90 rainbow that will give you guaranteed three easy a's then the fourth one can be obtained through hercule signatures that can be obtained via lo uh, local rank and various missions so let's go through the math here if uh, you rank top 10 in the world you will earn enough to easy all four turs most of you if not all of you will not do that if you want to rank top 2000 you will earn enough to easy a three turs so this is probably where i would say most I would say moderate world tournaments players should try to reach uh maybe hardcore depending on your you know frame of mind here but hercule autographs hercule autographs 90 are obtainable from local ranks one to three for those of you who don't know local rank is basically a subset of the overall population that is completely random the only factor when a local bracket is formed is the timing that you enter the world tournament pool because by the time you're in most of the hardcore players would have already been in their brackets you will be amongst those the latecomers so you know it's completely random but the goal is to try to get local rank one this is a far easier grind than trying to hit top i would say 100 in the world getting local rank one for the most part will be easier unless of course you come across one of the top 100 players in that case rip rip to you that's not i mean nothing i can do there <laughs> so 90 is obtainable from local rank one to three you earn 60 from world tournament missions nine from the three days daily missions remember when we were going through the dragon stones here the missions that you get 
also give you three Hercule autographs per day. So three times three is nine. So with all of that added up together, you get 159 total. You need 115 to easy a one TUR unit. So if you're going to rank top 2000, you easy a three TURs, you only need one TUR left. You can get that from all of these Hercule autographs, which are only needed by 115. So if you rank as low as top 20 local and you complete all missions, you will earn enough to easy a one TUR. Just a little fun fact for some perspective. So hopefully that gives you guys a better idea for what you're going to need. This is, of course, assuming you want to complete all of these EZAs. But if you don't care about this guy, you don't care about the Goku, you don't care about the Super Saiyan Goku, maybe you don't care about any of these guys, then again, default back to the plan to get 50 Dragon Stones achieved. That's it. Because at least when you're farming out the 50 Dragon Stones, you're not burning any stones in the process, unless, of course, you're low on stamina. But then hopefully you'll have some meat to use, or you just wait for your stamina to recharge. And later on during the day, you just come back and play more World Tournament. So either way, it's a win-win. I would say for the most part, I would recommend leaning towards the hardcore grind for this one and save your stones as much as possible. Unfortunately, as a world tournament hardcore player like myself, I will be having to burn some stones, but I kind of want to dial it back for this one too, because I've been trying to save as many stones as I possibly can for this anniversary. And I don't know if I want to be burning 200, 300 stones like I usually would for a world tournament grind. But regardless, you now know what you need to do. You have your goals, you have your missions, Let's see what happens. And for those of you who are tryhards, please take it easy because uh, I might be lying here. I kind of want to want to see if I can hit top 30. So tryhards, uh, cool it. Okay, thanks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me in the comments your thoughts on the world tournament situation. What do you think about the EZA grinds? Are any of these units worth getting the EZAs? Are they good? Are they not? Which ones are you looking at? Which ones are you not? Is the LR Piccolo from the last world tournament still a goal for some of you guys? to obtain uh, the medals to awaken. You need three Hercule autographs per EZA medal for the LR Piccolo, so you need 135 in total. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know when to see more best stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. I will hopefully see you sometime this weekend. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly.